Okay, last quote close to the end of the paper. It's one of the hardest little topics. Um, we've got x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4. So the numbers on the bottom of the base is the same. So we can just add the powers. So for example, x to the power of 5 times x to the power of 2 is going to be x to the power of 7. Okay, you need to learn that. One easy mark. This one we've got to do x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 4. Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You know that divide means that the sub powers get subtracted. So you do x to the power 4 minus 4 is 0. But anything to the power 0 is 1. So the answer must be 1. Or you can just see you've got one thing, anything divided by itself always comes out as 1. It doesn't come out of 0, it comes out as power 0. It is 1. Okay? So, a couple of little tricky questions. Let's look at x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 2. It's a bit of revision. That would be 5 minus 2 means x to the power of 3. Okay, have a little check over and maybe look that up in your revision guides if necessary.